Hey everyone and welcome to another Reverse Retro 2.0 review. If you are new, my name is Neil. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to click on this video. The Pittsburgh Penguins have brought back the Robo Penguin. We knew it was coming, but we didn't know exactly what it was going to look like. And oh my God, did they deliver. This is one of my favorite reverse retros in the entire 2.0 series. It's absolutely on my buy list. Just going to release that information now. It is one of the nine that I do plan to buy. I think it is almost perfect. Maybe perfect. It's not like exactly what I thought they were going to do, but it's still so good. Let's take a look at it. Uh, I've got uh, 10 images here, actually technically nine in the last images. They're actually, uh, their schedule as, as, as they're going to wear it throughout the season. So we'll discuss that last. But the first photo here is a, a pretty good shot. We get to see uh, generally the entire thing. We can tell that the shoulders slant down from yellow uh, coming in, and then they've got that complimentary white stripe mimicking the same angle coming down. Beautiful Robo Penguin logo. It is massive. It looks great. The numbers look really good in yellow on the black outlined in white. And then, of course, we've got the same kind of angular design at the bottom of the sleeve, starting at the elbow, working its way down into the yellow. And then in the bottom middle of the jersey, you've got the same kind of striping that you see uh, in the shoulders a little bit. So first impressions, lovely balance. Um, and lovely color balance as well. I talk a lot about not liking yellow that much. That really only applies to yellow being used as the primary color. Where here, black is the primary color. Yellow is the secondary color. Looks really, really good. And then white is the tertiary color. The NHL logo in the front of the jersey does clash a little bit. But um, I think because this is such a typical retro nostalgic jersey from the era where that NHL logo either was used or close to being used, the orange one, it's kind of acceptable. It does clash with the yellow, but it, it is acceptable. I want to go on to the next photo, which is actually a close-up of the uh, Robo Penguin itself, and it looks it looks amazing. Like I can't wait to get my hands on this in person. I'm so incredibly excited uh, for this jersey to come in. Uh, next is an image where they um, it was just pre-game actually. Uh, the players hadn't even arrived into the uh, into the room, and uh, they've 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 worn this. So this was pre-game, and the, it got this stupid ad on there. It looks um, it looks really really dumb. I'm very disappointed again. I said this in the last video or one of the last videos that I really wish that they kept the ads off of the reverse retro jerseys. And to me, that one clashes a lot because it's got a color that they don't use right now <laughs> blue uh, they used it originally but not now but it just it definitely clashes so very disappointed to see that ad on there but still a pretty good look at the jersey uh, made in canada actually because um, this is we you know what the players wear so the shoulders are a little bit more perforated material is a little bit different the next photo is from the same same day same time just uh, another really good shot of that logo looks fantastic and then of course the back of the neck there are call years 1992 uh, and then the back of the jersey gives you a really good look at the Adidas logo on the back without the Adidas text and how the nameplate is going to look. I think it looks really good. Uh, no complaints there whatsoever. And then the next photo is essentially the entire uniform. We've got Malkin sitting there uh, closest to us. So you can see his number. You can see how the pants are designed, how it looks, how the shoulders look from a side uh, angle, how the socks look. And honestly, it all looks really good. Absolutely nothing to complain about here, really. The shoulders, I typically like squared off shoulders, but the way that these shoulders are designed to mimic the kind of old school, early 90s style shoulders, just the way that they've they've done this and um, it just, the execution's just very, very good. Also the complimentary white stripe that kind of comes along the same angle just looks amazing as well. So the shoulders to me aren't something I would typically design or do or like or want, but it looks really good here. Like zero complaints about the shoulders, uh, fantastic. Everything from this angle looks good. The pants, I love the pant design. Just adding that little bit more of striping and colorization to the side of the pants was a great decision. Interesting to see that the NHL logo on the back of the pants is the current NHL shield, which is a monochrome or black and white and not the orange one that's on the jersey. So they don't really match there, which is a bit unfortunate, actually. Uh, skates, I mean, skates, most, you know, 98% of skates are black. So uh, we expect that. Socks look good. Next photo, we can see the, the helmet. So they went with the black helmet. This was a great decision. I think this uh, matches better with the primary black jersey. I think if, if they went with the yellow helmet, it might look a little bit off. It might clash with the actual black jersey. So a great decision here, going with the black helmet. And then and here is a, the final image uh, of, of the uniform from the side. We can see three players here and then the helmet uh, a little bit with the gloves as well. So just a, not only a wonderful jersey individually, but a really, really good uniform as well. Essentially perfect ex execution. I would have maybe liked to see like the, uh, the gradients that, was, that made the jersey not symmetrical. 
If you're not sure what the jersey I'm talking about, it's it's from the early 90s. Um, go go check it out. Maybe I'll put a, a photo of it on the screen. That's the, like, that was the be-all, end-all, like, wish jersey that I was hoping that they would kind of go with. But the decision that they made here to make it completely symmetrical with no gradients coming off the logo or anything like that or no lines, it was it's still a really, really good decision. This is a fantastic jersey. My orig- uh, initial uh, rating of this out of 10 was 9.8. That's how much I like this jersey. I'm basically going to stay in that in that range, you know, 9.5 to 9.8 out of 10. Fantastic job by the Pittsburgh Penguins here and really great execution by Adidas on this one. So just absolutely love this jersey. Now, the interesting part about the next thing we're going to look at, which is the schedule, the Pittsburgh Penguins released this on Twitter. Their schedule states that they will be wearing this jersey on November 15th, November 25th, November 29th, December 6th, December 20th, January 10th, and January 25th. So a bunch of games there. But if you've been following along in the video, we just looked at pictures of them wearing the jersey in a game. So I'm not sure why they wore the jersey ahead of the November 15th, because as I'm filming this, it's November 10th. So you know, a game has already happened, and their first game is supposed to be November 15th. So I'm not exactly sure why they uh, cho- uh, you know, decided to to wear the jersey ahead of time. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they did. We've got some awesome photos. But uh, yeah, just keep keep in mind that what you see on some teams' Twitters as far as reverse retro schedule might not actually be the official accurate um, list. They may choose to throw it in a random game and not let anyone know or, or whatever. But these are the concrete dates. I guess you could probably say that they're absolutely going to wear this jersey on these dates. Um, as I go through these and review these uh, jerseys, if the teams release their schedules, I will try to discuss them at the end of the video. So um, so you guys can be aware of you know, when to tune into a specific game if you want to see a specific jersey. But yeah, most of these jerseys, if not all of these jerseys, will be going on sale um, from all retailers on November 15th. Pre-orders are available from, I think, team stores now and team stores only. I don't even think you can order these jerseys from the Adidas site. Um, Adidas does have all the jerseys listed, by the way. So if you want to see extra uh, retail photos of the jerseys in high quality, you can do that on the Adidas site. You just can't buy them from Adidas quite yet. But all third-party stores like Dick's Sporting Goods and Lids and and Fanatics even, um, you'll be able to buy those jerseys on on those sites starting on the 15th. Um, so don't be don't be too worried that you can't find them anywhere right now. Um, that's intentional, not available to the 15th. So let me know down below in the comment section how you feel about this Pittsburgh Penguins reverse retro jersey. Did it was it a home run like it was for me, or did you really just not like this one? Maybe you kind of wanted them to go with the baby blue, you know, that or, or some kind of blue color from the original colors of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, you know, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you did enjoy this video, obviously hit the like button. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. And if you're new, consider hitting the subscribe button. Would love to have you here. We've talked about three reverse, reverse retros jerseys so far, Buffalo, Boston, and Tampa. This is the fourth. You got two more videos coming today, Carolina and the Rangers. And then of course, the rest of the teams coming over the next days and weeks. Can't wait to discuss those with you and get your opinion on, on this awesome jersey, on, on all the awesome jerseys, really. Um, would love to would love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you very soon in a couple of hours. Adios.